Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I want to talk about this eclipse energy that we have all around us. We have one today on the 5th of June 2020, a lunar eclipse. It's followed by a solar eclipse on the 21st of June this year on the solstice, uh, quite significant. And then we have another lunar eclipse on the 4th or the 5th of July, also this year. So these weeks, this energy in this next month, it's all about um, crowning the energy that we've had already from the eclipses. It's all part of one family of energy. And whatever we've been occupied with since January, whatever we've been working with, the themes that we've been working with since January, these last six months, that is what is going to come to a closure now. This is what is going to be seeking to reach its end, a natural conclusion. And so if you've been involved in any projects, so if you've been thinking about any projects, if you've been involved in any particular area of your life where you've been absorbed in the last six months by a particular thing, now is time to actually bring closure to that. Now is time to, to bring that to a, a, a crowning end, you know, because this energy is going to come to the fore and it's going to be emphasizing a lot of what has been learned, a lot of what has been experienced in the last six months. And it's going to bring it all together and kind of package it up and close it. And it's going to be closing up an energy that's almost been impacting us. Well, I, I don't want to say for a decade, but it, because, um, but I want to say it's been impacting us for about a year or so. So, you know, there's, these eclipses come in a fashion where they work with each other. They work to bring up something that needs to be resolved or to bring us to a space of better balance. And it gives us an opportunity to be able to, to actually go in and work. Um, it's almost like we're doing a surgery on ourselves to be able to, to work with ourselves on a different level, not as if it's a day-to-day -day level, not as if it's a normal day, but as if you know, there's something that needs to go in and be looked at and worked on and, and resolved. And so this is what we are dealing with right now. This is these next three weeks or four weeks are, are going to be very much about rounding up that energy from that you have experienced since January, bring it to an end. And then it's almost like packaging it up neatly and letting it go off into the universe because we're not going to be working with that after this. We're going to be beginning a whole new, um, energy and come uh, the end of July, August, September, October, we have a brand new energy and a very different feeling. And it's almost as if the start of the decade is in July. It's not as if the start of the decade has been January. It feels like whatever we've been experiencing in the last six months is a residual of the last decade. And when we leave this behind, when we work through all of this and we leave this behind, we're beginning anew. And we need to be spending some of July thinking about or some of June as well. If you're not too occupied with whatever else you're dealing with, thinking about where you're headed to in the next decade or what you want to have, what you want to achieve. Where is it that you would like to improve yourself? How is it that you would like to be able to connect deeper to yourself in this time? And so that is actually a very exciting energy. And it's something that you know, as we come to November and, and December, we'll, we'll have our new eclipses and it will bring new energy. And it's almost like you're going to be working with a whole different set of, of um, criteria back uh, down then and at, at the end of this year. So what is it that we can comfortably bring to an end right now? Where is it that we can push in three weeks of great productivity, whether it's in our work or career, whether it's in our personal development, whether it's in our relationships, and really be able to give it our all for this last time, for this last time this year, before we move on to this new energy. And this is what you need to be asking yourself right now. So another part of the energy right now is um, that of connection. So as the world kind of slips slowly out of its hibernation, off, out of its slumber, this COVID slumber, we are entering uh, a time when we are able to reconnect with each other. And what you're going to find is that this connection is much more real. It's much deeper. It's, it has far more value than the connection that we've experienced before. So the interaction that you're going to be having with people and how you're going to be communicating with others is going to be far more sacred. It's going to be a far more beautiful and um, 
sacred experience it's almost like that namaste uh feeling where the divine in you honors the divine in the other and that is what we can be looking forward to as we go ahead and one need not be afraid as one go, goes ahead one need one needs to actually go ahead with love and not with fear not with this what is um, proposed to us so the the what is proposed to us right now is that we fear the other that we distance ourselves from the other and that we 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 are afraid we mask ourselves we defend ourselves from the other but that's actually not what we need to be doing right now uh, not to say that you should go out and hug a lot of people or anything like that you know you should wear your masks and your gloves and, and do all of that kind of thing but the connection that we'll be having with each other is far more tangible it's far more real and the way in which we'll be experiencing ourselves each other um, uh, and ourselves through each other is going to be a new experience and this is something that needs to be welcomed so when you go out there and you need to social distance do so with a deeper connection and be aware be more um, cognizant of what it is that you're experiencing as you relate to people see the humanity in them see the the being in them see the living aspect in them see them as uh, as part of your soul family all right so that is one of the energies one of the other um themes at the moment is rallying behind something that you really care about that you really feel very strongly about and I want to emphasize that if you're going to do that at this moment, it is important to do so from the love, okay? Not because you're angry, but from a space of love. So do something, rally behind a cause because you want to, because you love something, because you value your freedom, because you value what what your, your, your rights, because you value a certain way of living. And not because you are angry with the establishment you're angry with whatever it is that you uh you might be angry at because that is not okay it's not it's not sending the right message to the universe right now what we want to do is we want to say that the things that we value the things that we care about is what we are rallying about we care enough about ourselves to be able to to take action if we feel so inclined if, to protest to do whatever it is that we wish to do in order to get our voice heard uh, our voices heard and i think it's important to do this uh because we care about ourselves because for so long what we've been doing is we've been letting by the wayside the things that we value and other things have come in place and occupy that there's there's you know there's an agenda there's a there's a there's the media there's advertising that comes in social media that comes in and and kind of occupies that space where um it replaces what you value and so if you're going to be clearing away and protesting against something then pro then protest for your for what is it that you value for what it is that you care about for what it is that you love for what it is that you cannot live without because for so long we've been living in an environment where we condone many things we all condone the war in Yemen otherwise we all would be on the doorstep stopping this war right now we all condone so many different things in life we condone that one percent that is richer than the rest of us we condone the poverty we can we condone the the the, the inequality in developing countries we are part and parcel of this all and so but if we cared enough we would be able to do something about it. We would actually be able to take action. And so it's not about getting to that point where we horrified and we angry and we, we can't take it anymore. And then we act. We need to be always acting. We need always to be protesting. We need always to be working towards and fighting for what is of value to us. So determine for yourself what is of value to you and how it is that you're going to be um, working with that energy, how it is that you're going to be using this newfound energy and uh, not in an aggressive way, but rather because you love what you want so much, you love what you desire so much that you're going to be putting that energy around and behind it in this loving fashion. And um, you know, I talk a lot on this channel about love and the energy uh, about love and the way it ne needs to be used versus that of fear. And I think it's always going to be a theme. It's always going to be a theme. Like, are you going to uh, 
stand behind and rally behind fear or you're going to rally behind love and so there is a choice that you need to make right now and um yeah so i feel like as we go along this energy has so much to offer us it's a much more awake energy it's a much more vibrant energy and we have the power to go about and change things right now so we have to think about how we're going to do that and what are we going to be putting our energy behind whether it's the next three weeks um that we are bringing something to closure or we are um kind of like closing a theme in our lives or whether we actually rally behind a particular protest or cause and we put our energy behind that that goes on for the next few years or, or, lo or longer and once again I want to remind you that um, if you haven't felt that the new year uh, in January has been the beginning of your decade then go ahead and use this energy right now to be able to think about where it is that you want to go to and how it is that you want to experience um, this new decade because it really depends on on what it is that you desire you know it's not about um, the socio-economic state it's not about that it is about what you desire and what it is that you want to create in this world because that is what has power not an ideal or um you know what e economists tell you or what uh, a certain uh, governmental body tells you it's not about that there is a reality that is abstract and then there's the reality that has power in it that the one that you can create and that is the place that you need to be coming from right now and if you don't know what i'm talking about then leave a comment down below and leave a comment down below and tell me how this energy is impacting you right now with these eclipses and um, are you irritable are you moody are you hormonal are you feeling um all kinds of weird feelings and if you are don't worry about it it's going to come to an end pretty soon and oops i've just shaken my tripod sorry and i think it's going to be okay it's going to kind of come to an end in a very nice way it's going to package it up quite comfortably and send it off into the universe and we're going to be working with a whole different energy come august september october it's such an amazing time that we're entering right now very sunny even for those of you in the southern hemisphere so uh, go ahead enjoy the time that you have right now finish up whatever it is that you need to be doing and um yeah prepare for the what's coming i wish you so much love many many blessings and uh, stay safe stay Say healthy and um, blessings abound from Kismet Rising.